the delayed response of the climate system, that's what makes this a really hard problem because of the tremendous inertia of the ocean. It's, uh, it's four kilometers deep, uh, so it's a lot of water. So when you force the system, for example, if the sun becomes brighter, the ocean doesn't suddenly become hotter. It takes it a long time to warm up. It takes about a hundred, after a hundred years, you get two thirds of the response. Uh, but in addition, the, one of the biggest impacts is sea level rise. Well, that's even slower because it's the warming ocean that melts the ice shelves, the tongues of ice that come out from Antarctica and Greenland into the ocean. And then when those are melted, the ice sheets start discharging icebergs to the ocean more rapidly. So that takes even additional time. So what we're doing is building in a response which our children and grandchildren are going to feel. It's not the normal, that kind of problem. People respond to problems when they occur. They don't think about one that's going to occur 50 years in the future. Unfortunately, in this case, we had better uh, do, we had better think ahead because otherwise young people inherit a situation that's out of their control. Well, the Paris Agreement is not a solution because analogous to the Kyoto Protocol, it does not, uh, it, it will not lead to significantly reduced emissions. We, that was demonstrated in the Kyoto Protocol. You try to ask each nation to do something, but what nations do is basically what is in their best economic interest. And as long as fossil fuels are cheap, their interest, they need energy for their development, uh, and the public is going to choose the cheapest energy. The problem is fossil fuels are are only cheap because they don't include their cost to society. Air pollution, water pollution, climate change, any of those consequences are borne by the public. Um, if your child gets asthma from the air pollution, you have to pay for it. A fossil fuel company won't <laughs> pay for it for you. So we really need to increase the price of fossil fuels. And if we would do that, the, the alternative energies uh, renewable energies, nuclear power, energy efficiency, anything that doesn't produce carbon can compete and replace the fossil fuels. But, of course, the fossil fuel companies don't like that, and so they bribe our governments to uh, not adopt a carbon tax or a carbon fee. That's the problem. Our governments have got to start <laughs> Having, the leaders have to have the guts to do what is in the public's interest, not the people who are giving them money. Well, I, I prefer what I call carbon fee and dividend. That means at, collect a fee from the fossil fuel companies at the domestic mines and the ports of entry. So it's very simple, a small number of sources, you collect the money. If you give all of the money to the public, and you have to do that because if the government takes the money, then the public will see the price of gasoline going up, petrol going up, and uh, electricity bills going up. So they don't like it. So they say, don't have a carbon tax. But if it's a fee in which the money is distributed to the public, then it turns out with the present distribution of energy use, about 70% of the people would get more money in the dividend than they pay in increased prices. But the important thing is that this rising carbon fee is then an incentive for entrepreneurs to develop low carbon uh, energies and products that use small amounts of fossil fuels or none at all. And the public will just pay attention to the price of things on the shelf. They will buy the less expensive things. And as the fee goes up, some products will become more expensive, those that use a lot of fossil fuels. So the economic studies show this would actually work, and it spurs the economy. It, it, um, it causes uh, modernization of the energy system, and so actually the GNP increases. It doesn't really cost anything. It's just that we have opposition to it from 
the few very wealthy fossil fuel people who are bribing our governments. It's that simple.